Welcome to Radio Fixer's channel. Subscribe for upcoming videos. In this video, we will de rust the battery clip due to battery corrosion. Make nickel plate solution and plate the battery clip to protect it from the future rust. Polish radio and speakers, faded plastic cabinets to bring back the shine. Create battery holder label. Enjoy the video. Hello and welcome back to my channel. This upcoming video, I call it showcase. What showcase radios are, are the radios that they do not need that much work, but they are very unique. The way you access it, go to my channel, uh, select playlist right here. You will see it's called showcase and uh, feel free to access all those videos. And meanwhile, you're here in this channel, go ahead and subscribe. And this is where it's located, subscription icon. And select the bell so you'll be notified for upcoming video. And select the thumbs up so YouTube uh, suggests this video to others. Thank you so much. All right, this is one of the radio uh, built in 1984. And these two, they're the speakers. And this is the radio itself. It is a AM FM radio, as you see here. When I purchased this, the person said that it's not working. And as you see in the back, it has a date right here, said 1984. I never saw something like this before. You know, this is a assume where they put the battery. Let's check the battery. Maybe that's what maybe the issue is. Not bad. Rust out a little bit, but not bad. This side is worse. See that side is, oh wow. This side where the rust is. Maybe that was not working. I mean, they install a uh, battery and battery did not make a good connection because of the rust. And they assume the radio is not working. Uh, it's pretty rusty. So that's need to come out, be cleaned then test it to see actually work or not but that side is not that good as you can tell but this side was not that bad so anyway let's try to take it apart i assume these are the two screws i don't see any other screws to come out using four c cell battery i see their discoloration of blue see that it's supposed to be blue like this you see the difference Let's see if that can also later on be polished to bring back that blue color back. The, the reason I purchased this because it was very really unique. I never saw something like this before, you know. And I'm in radio collection, I think for many, many, many years. This is the first time I saw this and I say, you know, it's going to be very really unique, very really different. All right, should have a several screwdriver to do this type of work because some of them you don't want to damage the screw you know using the wrong the screwdriver each phillips head their different size as you know like it, this one did not work on it so let's see how it's inside oh that's all how else this comes apart yeah, this is glued here. And that's how they keep this inside, just gluing one side of it. Weird. Yeah, it's just that side only. I don't want to damage this. So, you see that they just glued it in there. That's all they did. All right, now at least I see inside better. So these are individual. See, this is by itself there. That's by itself. That can be taken off and cleaned. This one is a one piece. The wires are here. So this is just sitting there by itself. That is good. There's no wire attached to it. Someone tried to take this out. See, that's where they glue the paper. 
1980s, you know, the quality is not like 1960, right? 1960s much better plastic. 70s, 80s, they are not that great. I assume that one screw is going to release the head or release the face maybe. So you can get to the transistor itself. Yeah, that's the way they build it. The back here all is one unit. The face should pop out. And I assume that's what the screw kept it in with the two clips here. See the clip here and here? But right now I want to focus on this. It doesn't want to come out. Come on. I don't want to break it. Okay, finally it's out. I just need to juggle it around. Okay. It's very rusty, so I need to get rid of all this rust. Again, all this rust happened due to battery corrosion. Let's find the best way to fix this. This one needs to be cleaned. Take all the rust out and then do some type of like a nickel plating or copper plating see when people leave the battery inside that's what happened usually i keep this type of things you know i'm going to put this in vinegar and let it set for a while to dissolve all the rust i'm going to close it and let it set not that long i'm going to see if the vinegar is going to work on it at least dissolve some of the rust all right, these are the equipment I'm going to use to plate those battery connection uh, since we had a corrosion. Of course, I already take the rust out, but they need to be plated because if you paint it, it's not going to work, right? The electricity does not go through the paint. So I'm going to use this power supplier. I need a jar like that and table a spoon, salt and white vinegar. And those are what I'm going to use to make the solution first and uh, to be able to play them. Also, these are two, they're nickel plate. I already bent them. I bought it through Amazon. Let's first make the solution and then we can play that. All right. As you see, I already put vinegar in the jar. One tablespoon of salt right here now i have to mix this very well before to put those bars inside all right this set in one amp so it's already hooked up right here that stuff of course is a negative side that's a positive and as soon as i turn it on the chemical reaction starts already you see this bubble so i'm gonna let this set for a few hours my understanding is about two to four hours, so I will check it to see how it's coming along. But it is working. So this is again to make the solution first. That's what I'm doing. I'm putting two plates of nickel plate. Let's see what's going to happen. This is my first time doing this. This is about three hours later. It's really is coming along. I'm going to wait one more hour to make sure we have a good solution here. All right, this is exactly four hours later. So let's turn this off and disconnect this so I can set up for the plating. Up to now, just was to make the solution. That's a beautiful color. It's like a Gatorade, you know. All right, as you see what I did here, copper wire. So I'm gonna put this in solution like this. I'm gonna make sure this away from the other plate and definitely is all right i turn on the power supplier the same concept and start working on plating of course negative gonna hook up to the parts positive gonna stay to the other nickel plate i'm gonna let this sit here and i'm gonna come back and check on it Maybe every 15 minutes, turn the part around, make sure everything is working okay. Let this thing work for a while. All right, these are the results of the nickel plating. This is, of course, as remember, it was very bad shape, all rust out. Oh, of course, now 
when you played it, it's not going to be as shiny because of all those area that was rust out. There was no way I could polish it before I uh, played it. And this one was much better, as you see, because the rust was not as bad as the other one. I am waxing this radio and you see this side already, you see the shine it brought up? It used to be like this. It says here is not good condition as well. So I put some car wax here on the paper towel. I'm going to just show you just what it does with plastic. See, it did a very good job. So you see how dull is up here and how shiny. See, sometimes the plastic with the car wax, you can bring it back. I need to do the same thing with the speaker when I finish the rest of the radio. As you see, these speakers are really dirty. It is all dirt here. The back is start fading. See right here is fading up to this line right here. So I'm going to take these things apart and try to clean it. Maybe wash the back and then wax the car to try to bring the color back. They're pretty unique. It's pretty interesting the way they put the you know the speaker wires goes there. See how dirty it is there? So there's two screws, those are need to come out. I did with the other one and I washed it to see how nice it is now. It's pretty clean. This was the other one. It was pretty dirty. I'm gonna take those screws out and take this and work on this piece. And it says right here 1984. Look what the wires did. This wires sitting here for a long time, ate up the plastic, you see. It did the same thing here in this one. See that? It should be a chemical reaction between this plastic and others. This that's what I'm thinking. Okay. On this side I cannot wash it with soap and water because they glued the speaker to the plastic. So I don't want to mess around with that. Let me work on this. Okay, I want to show you here. I apply some wax. See it's still shining as a car wax. Look at here. Compared to this side. See this side I have not applied here. I'm going to continue to do the entire cover. So I'm going to install this. Of course, the small one be soldered here, the long one goes across. All right, let's solder this together so we can test the radio. All right, that is done. Let it cool off a little bit before installing it. What I did, I scanned this with pretty bad condition. So I print a new one like that. See the difference? So I'm going to cut this and install that one. All right, this is installed as you can see. I'm going to add a little glue like they did. Just a little bit. See right there. Okay. Now I can install this piece back. There's two screws, screws here. As soon as stop, let it go. You don't want to force it. Both are installed. Let me install the battery and test this. These are the size of batteries using C battery, I believe. So we're going to follow the numbers that they have in there. That is number one. So it goes this way. The second one goes this way. And the fourth. No wonder they marked it. All right. Let's put the cover in it. All right. Let's turn it on to see if it works or not. Oh, the light comes on. That's a good sign. No sound. Oh, <laughs> I just remember I need to hook up the speaker. <laughs> the speaker is not part of this radio. <laughs> I think I'm getting too tired. <laughs> That's crazy. But at least the light comes on, right? So let me hook up the speaker, all right? All right, I hooked up the speaker to the radio. As I mentioned, it is a twin speaker. The plugs are in the back. 
So let's let's test this thing. Let's see how it works. All right, I set this in AM station. Let's adjust the volume so we hear how it's performing. Wow, it's unbelievable for AM. Wow, unbelievable. And it's not. See? It's just unbelievable. I just turned on the volume just a little bit. So I'm going to now switch it to FM and let's listen to a FM station. All right, this is FM, of course, as you can tell. This radio is just, as you could tell, it sounds just incredible for this little 80 midi radio. I'm so glad I purchased this and fixed it. This is going to be added to my crazy collection of the radios. I always enjoy, you know, collecting unusual transistor radios. <laughs> Don't ask me why, it's just I like it. And again, it sounds great. I wish I could play more music. But you know how YouTube is just going to cut me off if I do that. I hope you enjoy watching all these videos. You know, again, this is was a quick fix. That's why I'm calling it a showcase. It's because it didn't need that much work. At this time, I want to take the opportunity and thank my subscribers uh, with their uplifting comments. You always encourage me to upload more videos since this is just a hobby of mine. Again, I appreciate you. Enjoy all these videos and you all have an awesome day. Take care. If you're interested to see more videos like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and you will be notified uh, when a new video being uploaded. You have a great day.